There are a few things worse when you're landing an aircraft than your landing lights suddenly going pop. Now I'm with Oxley, who have come up with a number of innovative solutions to make sure that doesn't happen. Martin, tell me what you're doing with Oxley that's going to save our lives. Um, Oxley's lights are designed for very rugged environments. Um, and with the landing lights that we've developed, um, with the LED lights, they've got, first of all, a much longer life. And secondly, we've got integrated health monitoring with the lights, so we can actually tell in advance when the LEDs are showing signs of failure, so we can then advise um, when the lights need changing. So in terms of um, replacing the incandescent lights, which last for maybe 50 hours or 100 hours, our lights will last for 20,000 hours. Wow. So is that something that's done by the big data when they take the health monitoring things off or can you visibly see things? Um, it depends on the lights. Um, basically our lights can interface with the, um, with the aircraft um, central processing unit and we can then feed information back. Alternatively with our lights, especially on Gulfstream at the moment, you have an indicator that when the lights are showing that they're de degrading, that light will come on and so the maintenance crew will know then's the time to change it. And that avoids the preventative maintenance which goes on at the moment when you might be taking off a light that's perfectly good. So you only change when the light tells you it needs changing. So your light, your lights are you're saying with Gulfstream but also military. Military has been your big market for development hasn't it? Very much so, yes. So for example, this light here, which is a PAR 64 bulb replacement, this was developed for military purposes originally. Um, we've adapted this now and we've got a, an FAA PMA, so this can now go on civil aircraft. And so typically with Oxley, we develop for the military, but then we also have now a much bigger push on the commercial aerospace market and that's going to be a priority for us going forward. If I could just ask you one very quick question. My understanding with LED is heat and overheating on them. What are you doing to stop that? Well, LEDs, when they get too hot, then they go and degrade in temperature. So we have software that's built into our lights that thermally manages the, the LEDs. And so if they start getting too hot, it turns down the power coming to the light and then allows to have a constant temp a constant um, output of light from the from the unit well a very switched on company martin thank you very much thank you very much alan